Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And in this video, we will be talking about uh, hard problem of the lead code count of smaller numbers after self. And its index is 315. And it is a hard type problem, but I like that. So I will give it a like over here. Okay, so uh, the basic prerequisite to solve this problem is like uh, using data structures. You can also use uh, some merge sort technique or you can use a policy based data structure if you are not aware about that ordered set C++ then you can use this also to answer the uh, queries efficiently okay and the queries is basically the you need to find out the number of elements which are going to be strictly less than the particular element that we are fetching now okay so if you are not understand the problem no need to worry but I'm going to explain it about uh, I have solved this problem with the help of a data structure called Fenwick tree that is I have used the concept of Fenwick tree and to solve this problem this problem can be solved efficiently in C++ using policy based data structure like at that I have already told ordered set but I don't know why lead code is not accepting the format of ordered set that's why I have, I have used this Fenwick tree approach okay so you can use an ordered set approach I have also tried to use this ordered set technique to find out you can see I have used a uh, external container then tree policy then finally the ordered set okay to solve this problem in just few of the lines you can see okay so ordered set makes our life very easier to solve such type of problems I don't know why this lead code is not accepting the ordered set format that's why I'm, I have been using this Fenwick tree approach okay so uh, first we will talk about this problem then I will discuss the Fenwick tree approach okay so one more uh, thing that I want you guys to understand is like uh, I want you guys to learn this thing Fenwick tree uh, tutorial present in CP algorithms okay because uh, the video uh, video the video would be becoming very very long if I will try to explain the entire thing in the Fenwick tree so I will request you guys to understand this finding sum in one dimensional array using this Fenwick tree approach if you are guys aware about this then no need to worry about just come out to this video and try to learn what I will try to explain otherwise just I will recommend to go through at least one time to this tutorial to have a better understanding what is being happening here and how we can solve this problem in uh, best way with the help of Fenwick tree okay so let's move further first to understand the problem statement then we will together build, build up the best solution of this problem okay so we have been given an integer array nums and we have to return a new counts array and the counts array has the size exactly equal to the nums array size you can see the counts array has the property where counts of i is the number of smaller elements to the right of nums of i okay so if we try to fetch some element like uh, we have the element like 5 2 6 1 okay and let's say we are uh, we have to build a count array whose uh, size is also 4 that is we need to fill up these four spaces and let's say we want to fill this space like 2 then we need to answer like uh, what are the number of elements what is the frequency of uh, elements such that the element that we are trying to answer that is my current element is 2 and we need to find number of elements which are going to be less than 2 you can see there is only a single element so I will answer as 1 and if we try to answer for this uh, space then I will have to just consider one thing what is that number of elements which is less than 5 you can see 2 is less than 5 1 is less than 5 what is the number of elements 2 what is the number of elements less than 6 you can see number of elements less than 6 is 1 number of elements less than 1 is 0 okay so one thing that should be cared of is like when I am saying that number of elements that are strictly less than a particular element that is 5 then you need to talk about all the elements to the right of 5 okay and when I will say number of elements to the left that are strictly less than 2 we need to talk about the elements that are present to the right of the, uh, the show okay so talking about a certain index when we try to say and uh, when you try to answer for a certain index number of elements that are strictly less than the current element we need to check it out for all those indices which are present to the right of my current index okay that should be taken off okay so moving further to this example I will also explain this examples in detail while discussing the Fenwick tree approach okay so let's look over the constraint this is going to help us the nums length is 10 power 5 and nums of 5 is 10 power 4 okay so now you can see the values can be negative this is going to uh, make our life still little worse and how it is going to uh, make it difficult for us is like Fenwick tree doesn't support uh, the 
that is in a fenwick tree we maintain a like uh, indices or vector of we maintain an array of size of uh, maximum value you can see maximum value goes up to 10 power 4 that is it will be an array of size 10 power 4 that is uh, storing the frequencies of every is elements that is 0 to 10 power 4 okay you can see the values can be negative then how we can manage the negative values okay so i will like, also explain how to manage the negative values for now let's move further to understand what we are going to do in this fenwick tree approach to solve this problem in the best possible way so let's move further okay so what we are going to do is like suppose we have some certain set of elements like uh, 6 5 4 3 1 and let's say 2 and let's say again 1 okay now suppose we want to answer this uh, uh, query then our answer for this number of elements which are going to be strictly less than 5 and which are present to the right of it like 4 3 1 2 1 all the elements that is the 5 5 should be our answer for this place okay now in a Fenwick tree what we are going to do is we are going to maintain an array let's call it as array as BIT binary index tree is our another name of Fenwick tree array of size of maximum element what is the maximum uh, element or you can also say maximum value okay for simplicity we will take the maximum value as 10 power 4 so we will in uh, Fenwick tree we will maintain a array of size 10 power 4 plus 1 one more than size because we need to fetch the value directly so we we need to maintain a array of size this one but you can see the values can be negative how to manage the negative values okay so whenever uh, i will uh, face some negative value that is nums of i is negative though so this uh, element nums of i can't be directly accessed in the binary index tree array okay so what we are going to do is for all the elements that is uh, i'm going to write for every element we are going to do one thing how to manage the negative uh, values of the array for every element i will just do one thing nums of i plus equal to i will increment the value of every value of nums of i by 10 power 4 plus 1 uh, you, that is uh, for why we are going to do this uh, by doing this every element becomes you can see in worst case nums of i is minus 10 power 4 and if you do this for every element then nums of i would become 1 that is in worst case when nums of i is minus 10 power 4 and uh, then it becomes nums of i becomes 1 okay now you can see every element will be uh, will be always positive okay so it gives me the accessibility that is it uh, Com that is it makes uh, like uh, it makes our code as well as the understanding of this binary index tree very easy how it it becomes very easy because all the negative values are going to be managed easily because it is no more negative it becomes positive okay that's why i have done this thing every element is positive now i will change the size of this bit to make uh, another bit that is uh, the, our new modified bit is 10 power 4 and you can see the in worst case that is in best case or you can say nums of i is 10 power 4 okay and i will add 10 power 4 plus 1 again so it becomes twice of 10 power 4 plus 1 so in uh, in best case let's say i will maintain a size vector of size this one for simplicity 2 into 10 power 4 plus 5 okay so in uh, uh, what we are going to do is in a binary index tree now we are going to maintain a size of 2 into 10 power 4 plus 5 i hope you guys understand why i have do, why i have done this addition for every element to to simplify the to manage the negative values okay now we will maintain a binary index tree of size this one okay now everything is going to be like very much simple okay now you need to find it out number of elements which are strictly less than a particular element when we are trying to answer for a particular element okay so it means that we we need, we need to process the element from the backward side and when we encounter some elements we will update the element in a binary index tree that is we will perform the update operation okay and uh, when we want to get the answer for a particular element like when we want to an get answer for this nums of i i will uh, i will try to get answer for all the values that is answer for nums of i answer for nums of i minus 1 uh, for all the values that is i am going to get the answer for nums of i minus 1 because we need to find out the number of elements which are smaller than the current element not uh, smaller than or equal to okay 
that's why I, I will try to get the answer for nums of i minus 1. So this is going to be like only two things that uh, you need to care, take care for that. So the, now the only thing is like uh, you need to know the concept of binary index tree. I will try to cover this concept of Fenwick tree in my later of the videos. For now, you guys will just have to do one thing as I have already said. You, have, you guys have to go to, uh, through this tutorial Fenwick tree CP algorithms. I have also learned this Fenwick tree entire thing from here. So and this is the best tutorial that I have found. So just you need to uh, do one thing that is getting the sum and this uh, update operation that is this add operation. You need to just understand these two things how this binary index tree works and explaining the entire binary index tree in this video is going to be like very much long though that's why I'm not going to extend that okay now going further to the code of this one I've already submitted the code let me show out that one directly okay you can see I've got some time limit exceeded verdict also because the bounds of the array bit array that I have, I have not uh, uh, like uh, figured out the correct bounds that's why I have get the time limit exceeded now I have got the accepted okay so before talking about binary index tree, I want to talk about this ordered set approach okay you can see the answer is coming out to be same yes it uh, makes our life very much easier that is to perform the operations that is just use three four things of this uh, cpp container policy and just directly use the ordered so just you can see I have take the array and this is our answer this is our ordered set process the elements from the back side and use the ordered set predefined function order of key s dot order of key array of i and just insert in directly into the array of i you can finally print the answer this is giving the correct answer you can see 5261 will give us the answer 2110 and where is 5261 2110 let me check it out for minus 1 and minus 1 also so let me edit it uh, so it will be like uh, 2 and minus 1 and uh, minus 1 okay I hope it will give us the correct answer and let me check it out oh, okay so minus yes it is giving the correct answer so ordered set also simplifies our uh, code okay so talking about this Fenwick tree approach right now so okay I will also provide this link to the tutorial in the description section of the videos because some guys might find it difficult to access that okay so there is nothing much more like a great thing that I have done over here. Just this is an answer and this is BIT of Sarish 2 into 10 power 4 plus 5. For simplicity you can also take 2 into 10 power 4 plus 3. It doesn't matter. This is binary index tree array. Then I have iterated for the nums vector and I have incremented every element by 10 power 4 plus 1. You can see over here make all numbers positive because uh, binary index tree can hold the array of uh, like it cannot process the negative elements that's why i just uh, incremented the every value by such by a such an amount that every element becomes positive now process the elements from the back side and get the answer answer of nums of i minus one note that i passed the nums of i minus one the reason is very simple we need to find the smaller elements not the smaller or smaller than the current element or equal to current element if it, it, if it has been said that uh, like less than or equal to then I will pass nums of i only ok and passing bit then update operation let me talk about update and answer also if you guys are, uh, are uh, aware about the bit then you need you can understand it easily otherwise go through the tutorial then come back to this uh, video and it will be like good for you to understand bit update and answer operation in update operation what we are going to use to write down few lines that is getting the current element index in the bit and while index is less than bit dot size increments its frequency by one and move to the next position it will be like uh, this operation ind plus equal to ind and minus ind and uh, in answer operation you need to find out the answer for all the element that is the uh, sum of all the elements of uh, that it will give us the frequency basically number of elements which are going to be less than or equal to sorry less than the, my current element okay uh, because I am passing nums of i minus 1 I can say here is like a number of elements which are less than or equal to this ind okay so this is answer 0 and while ind is positive you can see I am taking as here as positive in worst case it would be like uh, nums of i is minus 10 power 4 and uh, if I will add this amount it will becomes uh, 1 then in worst case nums of i is 1 that's why I have done this ind is positive 
so answer plus equal to bit of ind then just move back to the previous position and get the sum of all the values finally return the answer right okay this will give you all the test cases first and the runtime bits are 95.6 per percent of cpp submissions okay so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and to subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video